don't happen pretty soon, we'll all be on the 18-day diet. Maybe 36. Who knows? Here, take this. Maybe it'll keep you quiet. Ooh, thanks. Oh, here comes Ted now. Well, I got the dough to get you all back to Broadway. You did? Oh, my oh, God. Hey, now wait. wait just a minute. Give me high blood pressure. Now, Bobby, I want you to take care of the ticket. Now, Bobby, I want you to take care of the ticket. Me? Yeah, and take care of that baggage check, too. Mm -hmm. Do we have to change trains anywhere? No, no. You stay right on till you get there. That's a good one. Hey, there's a train now. You better hurry up, kid. Come on, now. Come on. Oh, Where's my bag? Where's my bag? Hey, aren't you coming with us? No, uh, I gotta go to Chicago. You see, there's a guy there who wants to put me in a show. But I still say, I could have made a great little trooper out of you. Well, I guess I'd better say goodbye, Ted. Goodbye, Mary. And good luck to you. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry up or you'll miss your train. Give my re I wanted to miss it. What's the idea? I know why you stayed here. You spent your own money to send those girls back to New York, and now you're broke. Ah, oh, forget it, Mary. I've been broke in worse tanks than this. But you've got too much talent to be playing these one-nighters. You're right. Hopefully in these stables will ruin my feet before I ever get to Broadway. I've got an idea. Let you and I do an act together. Are you kidding? Of course not. I've got enough money saved to take us to Broadway and hold out till we get an opening. Nothing doing. As long as I can... As long as I can shuffle these puppies. I ain't taking money from any girl. Oh, but this is different. It'll be a business proposition if we're partners. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Good idea. Besides, you deserve a break. And I'm going to give it to you, break. And I'm going to give it to you. Oh, Ted. But you need a lot of experience. Yeah. Of experience. But you need a lot of... Ted. But you need a lot of experience. Yeah, I know. And I know you're going to the top. And I want to go with you. Remember that old saying, hitch your wagon to a star? Well, partner, here's hoping we wake up on Broadway. We're practically there now. Broadway. Little old Broadway. Don't you get a kick just looking at it? I don't know. 
Sometimes I do. Sometimes I hate it. Ah, uh, you won't hate it when you see a big electric sign. Ted Howard and Company. Of course I won't. Well, I got a blow. Say, where are you going? I'm collecting ten bucks from WHNY on the dinner hour. Singing over the radio? Yeah, Jack Lane is the announcer up there, and he's an old friend of mine. He asked me to sing a couple of songs. And now, little children of Radio Land, Ted Howard, that famous song and dance man, will soon disturb your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> this is station BUNK, operating on a frequency of one half of one percent. You are next to be entertained by the International Oyster Men's Union. <laughs> they will present their famous IOU quartet. The correct standard time is seven and five eighths. For the next hour, are you troubled with insomnia? <laughs> Do your best friends shun you? Have you frequent spells of dizziness? Would you like to know what causes this? Ted Howard will now sing. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Static. Stand by, folks. Ted Howard is about to take the air. Goodbye, Barry. I car to broadcast here. Columbia. Columbia Broadcast, my boy. This is a big night tonight. We're paying Valesco one grand an hour for this. And that's no static either. Here she comes now. How do you do? Judge Hyatt. Oh, uh, Mr. Valesco. Oh, uh, Miss Lesker, may I present uh, Ted Howard? How do you do? And this is her partner, George Holloway. How are you? How are you? I was just telling Jack here that it's a shame radio audiences can't get a knife full of you, as well as an earful. Uh -huh. I'm afraid, uh -huh. I'm afraid, monsieur, you are making a joke with Velasquez. Eh? Oh, no, I'm not kidding. No. When I see talent, I gotta tell him. See, I'm, I'm funny that way. So you, uh, you sing next, uh, Mr. Lesker. Next, yes. Oh, uh, you will come in and hear me sing? Oui? Will I? When the Columbia broadcast, we'll next hear a number from Broadway's favorite star, Mr. Lesker. Merci. Huh? Thank you. Oh, sure. That's all right. She will sing, Can You Read In My Eyes? Don't go away, folks. Give me a
fight for you. I love you. Do you? Do you? Do you know what the glow is revealing? Can you hear that I need all the love that I never know? What my heart is concealing. Why then I compare you can easily when you see the light that I cannot That was great. It certainly hands me a kick to be on the same program with you, Miss Valeska. Oh, Monsieur, I've never had in compliment like this before. You are most, most charming, Monsieur. I will see you again sometime. Hmm? I'll say you will. Au revoir. Uh, uh, bon, bon oui. <laughs> Au revoir, Mr. Lane. Goodbye, Miss Valeska. Goodbye, George. Bye. Thanks again, Miss Valeska. Such a nice boy. I will stay and hear his number. Oh, but dear, you do at the Trocadero right now. They will wait for Valeska. Oh, but why do you want to stick around and listen to a song and dance man? Song and dance man? And what wear you before Valeska make you her partner? Eh? And you never get tired of reminding me about it, do you? I'll wait for you in the car. Station WHNY, Jack Lane speaking. For the next hour, you'll be entertained for the courtesy of the Atkins Ant Exterminator Company. There is nothing more disgusting to the conscientious housewife than to find ants in her pantry. Write a letter to Station WHNY, and we'll be happy to send you a trial package of Atkins Ant Exterminator free of charge. The hour will open with Ted Howard singing, What is life without love? Don't go away, folks. Go away, folks. Without love, 
Happiness is where you find it. I search everywhere. How can I find happiness when no one seems to care? And when dawn comes up while the whole world is sleeping on my pillow I'm weeping for what is life without love What do you say? Thank you, boys. That's selling it, boys. You made some hit with Valeska. Yeah? Crazy about it. Hey, how would you like to be in her act? What? I think I can fix it. Boy, if you could fix that. I'd kiss you at 42nd Street and Broadway at high noon. <laughs> it's a cinch. Valeska changes her partners oftener than you change your shirt. And I think friend George is about to take the air. Only he doesn't know it. Really? Gee, wouldn't that be a shortcut to Broadway? Well, I gotta run along. I got a flock of shows to do in Hackensack tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you next week if I'm still alive. Right. Bye-bye, Ted. So long. Say, Dad, how is the audience in this barn? Barn? Say, do I look like a horse? <laughs> You know, you're looking at one of the best actors that ever played this jump. Yeah? If you was good, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't know a good act if you saw one. about a hundred times. But you don't tell me the way I want you to. You ask me if I love you. Do I? Don't I? The same old question 20 times a day. I swear by stars above you. Do I? Don't I? You're not convinced is all that I can say. Does an elephant love peanuts? Does he? Does a goldfish love a bone? Does an ostrich love to stand while his head down in the sand pile? Does a hot dog love a roll? Does a bumblebee love honey? Does he? Does an oyster love a stew? When it comes to table manners, does a monkey love bananas? If he does, then baby, I love you. Does a horsefly love the horses? Does he? Does a piggy love to squeal. Huh? Does the goose love to meander when she found the proper gander? Has an eel got sex or peel? <gasps> Whoopee! Does a big giraffe love necking? Doozy? Does a dove just love to does the rooster cock a doodle make a hen go off her noodle? Ah. If she does, then baby, call love you. 
good. I like him. She's going to give her partner the air. And she wants you to take his place. What do you think of that? Gosh, it seems too good to be true. Mary, did you hear that? I guess she's gone. <laughs> uh, Velasco is going to headline on a big time for six weeks. Then you open on Broadway in our new show. Gosh. What about Mary? And were you telling me that too? Oh, I know. Alaska couldn't use another girl. Then that's out. I couldn't leave Mary. Now listen, forget that sentiment stuff. Now Mary's a nice enough kid. But you'll never get anywhere on Broadway with her. Nothing doing. When I open on Broadway, Mary opens with me. Now, don't be a chump, Ted. This is the break of a lifetime and you can't pass it up. I couldn't leave Mary. I feel like a heel. Nothing doing. <laughs> All right. So long, Ted. So long, Jack. Thanks, just the same. Remember, opportunity only knocks once. You better take off those earmuffs. Were you? I was just outside telephoning. Oh. Well, I'm going to wire the agent and tell him we'll take that booking in Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie? Why not? I hear it's a great little bird. And I guess we can stand it for three days. The Smith brothers were born there. just realized there's no future for us playing those days. Wait. I know, but I've been thinking it over. We'd get ahead much faster, both of us, if we separated. You mean break up the act? Split? Yes, Split. Don't you see I'm only holding you back? I'm not getting anywhere. Have you fallen for that Bill Gray's chatter about making a star out of you? What if I have? Anyway, it's a chance to better myself. Hey, listen, listen. You can't go with that no good bozo. I won't let you. You can't stop me. I'll get somewhere with him. You mean to say? 
say you'd rather go with him than with me? Certainly, you'll never be anything but a small town of comfort. Oh, is that so? Well, let me tell you something. I just had an offer from Valeska. Valeska? <laughs> That's funny. You couldn't even get the same theater with her. Oh, yeah? My name will be in lights on Broadway, and you'll be back in the chorus. In fair I respect. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you? How do you do? How do you do? Say, you know, I haven't seen you for a long time. I'd like to run along if you don't mind. Oh no. You would what you say? Walk out on my party? Well, I have something more important to do. Ah, oh, more petit you. Monsieur Leclerc would not understand. He would be very insulted. Let me fix you a little drink, eh? All right. <laughs> Brian, three, five, eight, two. Hello? Hello, Mary? This is Ted. Oh, hello, Ted. Say, Mary, something came up all of a sudden, and I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I tried to duck it, but I have to see LeClaire on business. I'm sorry. You understand, don't you, Mary? Come, Chevy. Everyone is waiting for you. Take your drink, darling. It, it, it sounds like a party, Mary, but... Yes, I understand, Ted. Atta girl, honey. Still the same little trooper. See you tomorrow. What do you say? Goodbye. <laughs> Voila. Hey, <laughs> come here. I want to tell you something. Come here. You're a good bartender, but listen, when you mix another for Valeska, give her plenty of ice. She likes her drinks cold, and her partners, oh. Hey, listen, another crack like that from you, and I'll forget the condition you're in. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. You know, I always keep myself in good condition. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Let me go! Let me go! Don't let that guy hit me! Tell him that's disgraceful. Why you shouldn't? Let me go! He's a very bad. Such an ungentlemanly thing to do, George. Oh well, I'm sorry, folks. I just dropped in to pay my respects. 
You'd better go home. Just dropped in to pay my respect. You'd better go home. Yes, I don't want to go home. Well, you've got to. Lucky for him that, that I don't get mad easy. Oy. There's a great newspaper story for you. You said it. I'll have it on the front page in an hour. 